what is going on everyone today in this video we're going to talk about how to set up your chrome descent for your mouse and keyboard so first step as soon as you get the zen out the box is simply go ahead and download chrome onto your laptop or pc once you've done that you're just going to go ahead and type in the search bar exactly what i have typed up here right just type in chrome is then download all right the first thing we're going to need to do is right click on this link that pops up this first one we have to go ahead and download the zen studio so we're able to add scripts and update our chrome is then all right so once you guys are here, go ahead and click on this download link. All right, then it's going to pop you into this web page right over here. And you want to look for this Zen Studios thing. OK, once you see that, you're going to see this download button. So just go ahead and right click on this. Soon as you do, you guys will see the download just go straight into our downloads tab up here to the right hand side. All right. Once that is done, what I like to do is drag that thing out to my desktop. You guys can see it here, but I'm going to go ahead and delete everything for now, just so I can show you guys the exact process and what it should look like. All right. So once that's done, click on your file explorer from the bottom over here. You guys can see that file icon. Once you're in here, go up to your downloads because that's where we went ahead and downloaded it. I'm going to move this to the side and I just like to drag it out to my desktop, right? So just right click, drag it onto your desktop. Okay. It should look exactly like how you guys see it on my screen. Once it's here, just literally right click on it and run it. Okay. So you're going to hit next. I agree. And then simply go ahead and hit install. All right. Once all that's done, there's going to be two new applications that pop up. One's going to be called the Zen link configurator and the one we're going to be using today. And the one you're going to use is the Zen studios. All right. So just go ahead and right click on this and open it up. All right. And this whole time your Chrome Zen again is not plugged into anything, right? You guys can see mine. Just go ahead and leave it in the air. And again, once you go ahead and open the Zen studios, this message will pop up. Okay. Once it does, we want to click on open online update tool over here. We're going to need to do a firmware update on the Zen. So this is the first time you'll be plugging in your Zen. And to do this update, you have to plug the Zen in at the top. All right. So whenever you guys are looking at your Chrome Zen, there's going to be a bunch of USB-C ports, right? So there's a USB-C port here. The other end of this cable is just a normal USB port, right? That goes into your PC, whatever you guys are using to run this Collective Minds web page. All right. So all you do is simply go ahead, plug the Zen in just at the top like this. You guys can see mine. There we go. Again, I have a bunch of scripts added, but for you guys, it's just going to say Zen. This is what it should look like, right? Now, if you go back to the desktop and try to hit connect, it's not going to work, right? What you have to do is simply go ahead and flip over the Zen. There's a little blue button on the back. Hold this down for two to three seconds. On this Zen screen, it's going to say Zen bootloader, right? So again, hold down that little blue button for three to five seconds. And you can see once it says Zen bootloader, if you go back to your desktop, I've already updated, so that's why mine popped up, but I'm going to hit disconnect. For you guys, you're just going to go ahead and hit on connect. All right. Make sure on the Zen it says Zen bootloader and only plugged in at the top like this. Okay. Right click on this pair thing, hit connect. You'll see your Zen right up here. You want to hit the latest 2.214, right? Just do the latest update. If you're watching this video a couple years down the line, again, just do the latest update. Very simple. All right. Once it is done updating, we're going to talk about how to add a script. And again, for this whole process to work, you will indeed need a controller. OK, you do need to plug in a controller to your Chrome Zen to be able to use the mouse and keyboard. All right. So once that's done, let's go ahead and download our scripts. So all I'm going to do is leave you guys this free scripts tier that you guys can sign up for in the pinned comments below. OK, check the pinned comments. There will be a free scripts tier that you guys can sign up for. Once you sign up to go ahead and download the script, all you're going to do is right click on your name here to the right hand side. Again, you guys can join our community here. That's going to be a paid membership to get the updated scripts. But to go ahead and test out the free ones, just click on the free scripts here. And I highly recommend everyone download the Rabbit version one. It's the best plug and play script. To do that, just right click on this. And again, same thing you guys can see, just literally will just go into your download. So everything's very simple. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and look at our Zen Studios again. Just hit cancel on this. And now we can unplug the Zen from the top, right? We've done the update. You don't need it at the top anymore for now. Now, all you need to do is plug it in on the right hand side, just like this. You guys can see my Zen only plug it in on the right hand side. All right. Once that's done, open up your Zen studios and we're going to go ahead and add our scripts. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little bit bigger. You can see only on the right hand side to open up this script right over here. You just press file, press open and you want to go into your downloads one more time and you should see the rabbit version one right click on it. Simply go ahead and press open. You see the panda logo. You know, you got it. Go over to your programmers tab. This is where you'll be adding the scripts. Okay. Once you guys are here, you can press the six little lines that says GPC scripts. 
you'll see the Rabbit version one. You just want to right click and drag and drop into an open slot here, right? Once it turns pitch black, that means your script is on there. And one last step you need to do is simply go ahead and press this play button to program, aka save it to your device, okay? And then I'll show you guys how to turn on the script and then we'll talk about the exact mouse and keyboard setup that you guys need to do next, all right? So once it's saved, to turn on the script, you just use the right side big blue button, all right? But first, make sure it always just says then before you turn on any scripts because you want to make sure you have your mouse and keyboard and everything plugged in, which is what we're going to talk about next, all right? Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, Panda, what mouse and keyboard are supported by the Zen? So I'll show you guys the exact list that they have here, okay? I'll leave you guys this in the pinned comments as well so you guys can have a look. Here's the exact ones that I'm going to be using in today's video. I literally just ordered them. You can see they're going to be coming in. So that's the one I'm going to be using. All righty, Panda Gang. So now the next step is making sure you guys go ahead and press this right side big blue button. Make sure no scripts are active, all right? While the Cronus Zen is still plugged in on the right-hand side, you're going to go ahead and grab another wire. And again, the other end of this wire, which is just going to be a normal USB end, is going to also go into your PC, right? So once that is done, you're going to plug it in at the top also. So you can see we have the right side cable connected. That's how we're able to be in the Zen Studios. And then again, come in with the cable at the top next, okay? Once that is done, now we're going to have to go ahead and plug in our controller. Yes, you do need a controller plugged into this side of the Cronus Zen for your mouse and keyboard to work, guys, all right? So all you need to do is wire up your controller, plug it into this left-hand side. You guys can see this blue button. That's where it's going to be. If it's going to be facing you guys, it's going to be on your left-hand side, right? So if, it, if it's facing you, the Zen, it's going to be on this left-hand side, this USB slot. So all you're going to do is grab a USB to a USB-C wire. And in today's video, I'm just going to use my PS5 controller. So I'm going to plug it in here. And next thing, all I'm going to do, let me go ahead and grab that controller. There's just a bunch of wires here, guys. There's going to be tons of wires, all right? So once you guys plug it in, you will see the green light right where the controller is plugged in. We can see that turns green. That's a good sign. That means the controller is working. We can see everything is good there, all right? Now, you do want to go into your device tab here. And make sure your controller shows up as a joypad slash console, at least when you first have it plugged in, right? You can see mine is not showing up. So if that happens, hit on auto. And if it still happens again, just go ahead and pick up your Cronus then, just like this. And there's a little blue button on the back. You guys can see it. Just make sure you go ahead and quick press this one time. Again, do a quick press. Do not hold it, okay? So again, just do like a quick press. And once you do, your controller will go off. The Zen Studios will close. And all we need to do is open up the Zen Studios one more time, okay? Once that's done, it will go ahead and pop up on here. And that's how you know your controller is at least connected and ready to go, all right? So again, let's go ahead and see. Is it going to load in? Sometimes the Zen Studios takes a little bit, so you just got to give it a second. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why is Apex Legends opening up? But we can see our controller is indeed over there. I'm going to go ahead and close out of Apex Legends because I don't want that to open up right now. All right, I, I don't know why that's opening up. Okay, so we can see our controller is over here, right? Now is where you're going to go ahead and plug in your mouse and keyboard, okay? I highly recommend you guys go ahead and get an extra pair of mouse and keyboard so you don't have to unplug them from your PC, right? I got a brand new pair, so you guys are going to see it in action here. Let me go ahead and grab my keyboard. <laughs> there is just a bunch of wires, right? So here's my keyboard. You guys can see it's a brand new one. Literally just unpacked it, okay? You guys saw the exact ones I ordered and I got my mouse, which is also over here. OK, so now here's how you plug in your mouse and keyboard, which is going to be important. You want to make sure your keyboard on the Cronus then goes in. Let me go ahead and just pick up the controller. Your keyboard is going to go on this left hand side of the Zen right over here. You guys can see it's going to be closest to where your controller is plugged in. OK, so your keyboard must go right over here, right where your controller is on the bottom slot right here. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my keyboard wire. I'll try to show you guys so you guys can see. There we go. Let me go ahead and grab my keyboard. There we go. The keyboard's in here, okay? And again, same thing. We want to look for the green light to flash once you plug in your keyboard, right? You can see my keyboard is good. And we can even see it on the Zen Studios device tab right over here, right? And again, make sure you get a new keyboard because if you're trying to use the same keyboard that you're trying to control your PC with or whatever, it's not going to work, right? You can see. I have this keyboard is not attached to the Crotus then because it won't work. All right. So there we go. And then next thing you're going to do is you go ahead and take your mouse and plug it in on the other only USB slot left that's open. Right. 
and that's going to be right over here. So again, keyboard goes on this side, right? You guys can see. And then this is where you're going to go ahead and plug in our mouse. So let me go ahead and plug that thing in there. Is it in? Okay, there we go. You'll know it's on when everything is green. You guys can see all the lights are green right over here as well where my mouse is plugged in and right here where my keyboard is as well. Okay, once everything's plugged in, you do want to go ahead and run it through a quick test while you guys are in the Zen Studios. And all I like to do for that is go over up here into the tools and then go to the device monitor tab. All right. And all you want to do is use your keyboard and your mouse. Now, if you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse, right? I'm clicking the R2 button, which is going to show up as a controller, but this is just going to be a, my aim and my shoot buttons, right? I'll show you guys what I mean by that. If I right click, you can see that's a shoot left click, aim, shoot, right? You guys can see that. That's how you know the Cronus then is working with your mouse and keyboard. It's a quick way to check. Also, you can check via touching your keyboard as well. If you, if your guys are doing W A S D, right? You can see W A S D it's going to move your left, left sticks or your right sticks, right? L Y and L X that's your left and right sticks. So I'm pressing those and it's moving it. So that's how simple it is guys to set up your Cronus then with your mouse and keyboard. Just make sure you have everything plugged in correctly, right? You want to make sure your keyboard goes on this side. Okay. And then your mouse, which is what I'm holding right here, goes on this side. All right. And your controller must be plugged in first on that side. And that's how simple it is. So hope you guys enjoyed. I bought all these new things. I know a lot of you guys wanted a setup video. That's literally just how simple it is.